two days after the biggest pro-democracy protest in weeks, Hong Kong's deeply unpopular Iron Lady, derided as a puppet of Beijing, swept in to meet the press, but no one was holding their breath. Carrie Lam, one quarter of the population of Hong Kong came out in the rain and marched peacefully. How long are you going to continue to ignore the demands that are made of you? She had two important initiatives to announce, she said. One is an um, important fact-finding study, in addition to a very robust system to investigate and look at the complaints against police. The other is to create a fact-finding study into the um, causes and the facts of this incident. So, two fact-finding studies one by the Police Complaints Council, whose members are appointed by Mrs Lam, her only response to Sunday's vast anti-government protest. She said she hoped the fact it was peaceful would provide a way out of all this. In Hong Kong. On her way out, she was heckled and yelled at. Once again, she had failed to address even one of the protesters' demands. Those who'd organized Sunday's demo were scathing. We do not trust Carrie Lam. Uh, we do not trust her lies. The only way to calm down the anger, the rage of the people, is to really respond to our five demands. As all this was going on, news broke that a Hong Kong employee at the British Consulate General here had apparently been detained by the Chinese authorities 11 days ago as he returned to Hong Kong from Shenzhen, a huge Chinese city just over the border, where he'd attended a conference. Simon Cheng, who's 28 and is employed to promote investment in Scotland, was texting his girlfriend on his way home on the train late on Thursday the 8th of August, when at 10.42 he texted the words, pray for me, and he hasn't been heard from since. The Foreign Office said it was extremely concerned by reports he'd been detained and said it was providing support to Mr Cheng's family and trying to find out what had happened. In Beijing, a spokesman for China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said he had no knowledge of his disappearance. I don't have any understanding of this matter, he said. It's not known whether Simon Cheng had participated in recent anti-Beijing protests, some of which have turned violent. But China has accused Western countries, chief among them Britain and the US, of inciting rebellion in Hong Kong. In mainland China, suspects can be placed under administrative detention and held for 15 days without being charged or granted access to lawyers. There are reportedly other cases of Hong Kongers disappearing on trips to the mainland. Chinese paramilitary police have set up camp in Shenzhen's sports stadium. State media have released footage of riot control exercises, but the propaganda war is also being waged on another front. Twitter announcing it had shut down more than 200,000 accounts believed to be linked to a Chinese state-backed influence campaign targeting Hong Kong's protest movement. Facebook has also removed several groups and accounts, some of which branded protesters cockroaches and terrorists. The Chinese government today defended the right of its 1.4 billion citizens to express their opinions. That's uh, Mr. Miller reporting there from Hong Kong itself. Earlier from Beijing, I spoke to Victor Gao. He was the translator for the former Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping and is now director of China's National Association of International Studies. I asked him what we should make of the reported detention of the UK consular official, Simon Cheng. I personally do not have the details about the detention and uh, what is the nature of the detention, etc. However, I think from the Chinese side, there is a very grave concern about foreign intervention in the situation in Hong Kong, infiltrating into Hong Kong, providing funding to the uh, 
violent uh, protesters, for example. And I think uh, the central government, as well as the Hong Kong SAR government, have repeatedly warned against foreign intervention. Uh, who are these outside interventionists? Well, I think uh, there is increasing uh, evidence to show that the United States is very much involved. Uh, Vice President Pence, uh, Secretary of State uh, Pompeo and quite a few other U.S. members of Congress have taken positions which are contrary to the goal of stabilizing the situation in Hong Kong. And even uh, Dr. Uh, Michael Pillsbury, a very close advisor to the White House, has openly suggested that national uh, endowment of democracy has provided millions of dollars in support of the current turmoil in Hong Kong. We seem to be ignoring the reality that ordinary men, women and children, young people, old people, they're on the streets in their hundreds and hundreds of thousands. And you think that this is all simply because American money is telling them to do so? Well, in Hong Kong, with a population of close to 8 million people, you always have lots of grievances, all kinds of political pursuits, all kinds of complaints and grievances. It's natural, especially in a democracy like Hong Kong. As uh, outcome of the law in Hong Kong, people actually have legally protected the rights to demonstrate and protest. Now, however, they need to do so within what law has allowed. Therefore, if there are peaceful demonstrations, uh, if you are talking about hundreds of thousands or even millions, so long as they are peaceful, that should not be a problem. Everyone should actually welcome that. Well, Mr. Gao, uh, because Mr. that's Gao, a they... way for the people to express their views. Mr. Gao, they were peaceful until the authorities in Hong Kong started tear gassing them and and uh, beating them up and. And, and trying to force them off the street with violence. No, I disagree. If you really follow very closely the chronology, the demonstrations and the protests have, in many instances, have been declared illegal gatherings by the Hong Kong police. And tremendous amount of violence has been committed in the process of the protests. Illegal storming of the LegCo building, illegal occupation of the Hong Kong airport, resulting in grounding of hundreds of flights, for example, and I think biting off the finger of a police officer, using in a very extensive way laser guns against police officers, as well as other innocent people in the street. I would say this is no longer a peaceful demonstration by any stretch of the imagination. There is violence, there is chaos, there is rioting in Hong Kong. Let's not disregard this. Whatever that is happening in Hong Kong will Mr. be dealt Gow, with as it, it, illegality and criminality it, in any other country or regions in the world. In your list, you don't mention there is also peaceful demonstration. Peaceful demonstration on a massive scale. And yet, all you talk about is the violence. What is the end game to all this? If there are peaceful demonstrations, I hope there will be as many as necessary. Peaceful demonstrations should be welcomed because that's part of democracy. However, if you have illegal gathering, you have illegal demonstrations or protests, any single illegal demonstration is one illegal demonstration too many. Let's really call a cat a cat rather than confuse that with a mouse. Does Carrie Lam still have the confidence of Beijing or is she now part of the problem? The central government in China has expressed unconditional and full support to Carrie Lam, her government in Hong Kong, as well as the Hong Kong police forces. I think people in the world need to listen very carefully what Beijing says. Beijing supports Carrie Lam and her government. Let's take it as it is, rather than, for example, try to pick and choose the views of Washington or London as if that's a deciding factor for Hong Kong. No, they are immaterial, they are irrelevant. What matters is that Beijing, the central government of China, has full support for Carrie Lam. Let us use that as the starting point and let's enable the Hong Kong SAR government and the Hong Kong police to use whatever they can, all the resources available at their disposal, to restore law and order to Hong Kong.